everyone, it's Lori here. So I'm gonna do a little painting today that's inspired by my angel painting workshop that is coming up this Saturday, August 3rd from 10 to 3 p.m. It'll be at my house. And um, there are still some spots available. So if you wanna come, make sure you send me a PM or a text and I will leave information in the post. So anyway, this is an angel that I actually just started playing with. And one of the things that I consider when I'm painting and when I'm playing with these angels is the wings. So that is a really, really important part. So I'm gonna do a little painting and just a little exploration of wings. Before I leave though, I do wanna just say about the class itself that the class is gonna be a great time for you just to kind of connect to that creative side of you, that spiritual side of you. We do some meditation to relax and release and call in our creative side. Um, this is the perfect class to just relax and to just have a really good time just have some fun, be with some other great people, eat some good food because I'm gonna provide lunch. So anyway, let's get on to the painting. So I wanted to paint some angel wings and just show you the variation that you can have. I always start off with a board that has some color laid down on it. It helps, it makes it so much better to paint. Um, at first, I think I found this difficult, but now I find it really easy. So when I start painting angels, I actually just, I kind of start with the wings and have a little head up there. And I just do whatever I feel like. There's no prescribed thing. I'm kind of just doing what I'm drawn to. Of course, there's a little body in there I gotta draw it, but it could look something like that. A lot of times I like to add in a little bit of, um, this is rubbing alcohol to add some texture. So I just sort of start there, but my wings are all different shapes. So sometimes I have little wings, whoops. Didn't, kind of like that. Of course your body could be a different color. Usually my bodies end up being similar colors, but there are no rules. A lot of times when I'm at that beginning of a painting, I'm just playing. It's just fun. It's just fun to come in here and just lay down some paint. Maybe this angel has little legs. Whoops. I'm kind of making a two-tone thing going on there. But I'm just laying down some paint. This time it's a little bit thick. I don't always paint with thick paint, but that's okay. Kind of shaping the head. adding some depth. Oops, I'll just rub away the body for right now. So I have wings and I'm going to add a little body. Okay, I went back to the same color. Um, in one of my classes, someone did this really cool angel. She had done these kind of big wings, if I remember correctly, kind of more typical wings. Really pretty painting that she did and she had a bigger head she made these really cool curls and then I believe the body was actually kind of sitting down so it was really different than anything that I've done and she worked on it and shaped the wings it doesn't happen in seconds you know it takes time it takes time to form things that's why a lot of times I go back in with a different color um, that, and I paint the background. That is a, maybe is that an ugly color? I don't know. So I do a lot of painting in the background. And I go back. My water is very dirty and I add more. And of course now I'm painting on wet paint so it kind of gets all blurred together. But even then, even if this is where I start, that's okay. I'm gonna finish somewhere else, but it'll look cool and it'll look pretty. A lot of times lately I've been getting my hands involved. So going in here and adding some contrast. Oh, I kind of like that. 
I like the shape of that. And then maybe going in to the wings and adding in kind of some mess. It's looser, it's, it's actually kind of fun to do. Maybe making the wings a little bit different. Putting some light around the dark and so forth. So anyway, this is a complete mess and that is okay. But in my angel painting class, we're gonna be talking about wings and painting them and kind of letting our intuition take over and just, whoops, <laughs> really playing and having fun with the paint. Sometimes you get colors you don't want. Okay, I hope the other paintings were in view. I decided to come back and do a little bit more. There are other angel wings you can make too. These have gotten very messy, but sometimes I like making big, light, let's add in a little head there, fluffy angel wings, whoops. And we'll add in a little body. Sometimes I like to actually spray some water on it. Ooh, I don't know if this will show in the video. Just to get some drips. And then I lay it down. And I take my paper towel roll and I roll over it. To kind of soak some of it up. Usually I wait a few minutes. But I start getting something a little bit different. I add a little bit more paint. That's really a wet brush. Add in a little bit more. I kind of like these big swooping wings. I'm going to go in with this big brush. Some white paint. I'm gonna wipe that out. So it's just a lot of fun playing and, and making changes. And again, this is just the beginning. The colors will change. Obviously I have three very different angels here, so I will make some decisions, but for right now, I just kinda wanna play with my angels. Okay, they say painting with a big brush is good, but that's a little bit too big. Let's get a smaller one. All right, I've made a nice mess. Oops, it's always good to let the paint dry before you continue on. And now we have some very thin angel wings but it's still flying and if I want to make her fly more just take my hands in there and woof, there we go add in a little texture and pray that this is in the shot and I think you guys get the idea okay so I'm gonna come back here anyway I hope you enjoyed that I just wanted to have some fun painting and to share that with you um, and to look at different kinds of angel wings that you can make I guess I did three four types there are so much you can do your imagination is your limit um, and our imaginations are limitless, so there's a ton that you can do. That you can uh, join me in my class. I'd really love to have you, and if not, that's cool too. I will see you back here with more painting and more videos and a lot of fun. Okie dokie, bye. Here are a few paintings with various angel wings for you to enjoy and to help inspire you. See you soon.